So, ladies and gentlemen, we do not do what they say. This is Larry Fink. Over a year ago, take a listen. I am still watching. I will tell you of our, you know, our investors worldwide. We don't have that much inquiry on it. Uh, we are <laughs> investing in it. Rick Rader has been on your show talking about things that we are doing in it, and we're we're we are studying it. We've made money on it. But we're, we're, I'm not here to tell you that we, we are seeing broad-based interest by institutions worldwide. And, and you know, I, I like to say that most of what we do is a reflection of what we are hearing from our clients. So I would well, clearly so tell you worldwide. Go ahead, Andrew. What you're saying, no, no, what you're saying, though, I think is very, very important. And I, I just want to put a fine point on it um, because – please. You speak, you're speaking to companies all over the world, and, and you're saying now that you don't believe that companies have a unique interest in this. They're not talking, they're not saying, Hey, Larry, uh, we're thinking about how we can get exposure for our balance sheet. Do you have a product? Can you do something? Are you thinking about creating a product for them? And you said, uh, speak, speak directly to that because. Do you see the double speak, ladies and gentlemen? Look at the headline. Think on crypto, a great asset class, but what is he saying to the masses? We on location. I remember way back. You ain't have no swag. You did a little research. Now you got a moon bag. Now you got a new walk. Now you got new swag. You did a little research. Now you got a moon bag. Well, let me show you what the moon bag's like. You take them gains when it gets that high. I mean, the market may dip for a little bit. And so, ladies and gentlemen, before we get to the juicy part of the steak, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsors, Lumi Wealth, using algorithms to make investing easier and more profitable. Let's go! What is going on, Blockchain Monkeys? Eagle here, like, thank you for coming to my jungle. First of all, I'm no financial advisor whatsoever, nor am I professional in blockchain technology. But there's one thing that I absolutely will do, and that's getting my opinion. So today, we got a hot one, so let's just get right to it. And before we can, I'm going to need you to rub them hands together. We're vigorously. Slide down Twitter. And coming right at the top, we have XR Paynet King Dogo. XR Paynet will get 50,000 every 10th day of the month in the Discord group. The link is right here. If you guys are connected on my Twitter, join in. And then you got Brett Hill coming off the top ropes. With buy now and pay later crypto fiat resolution, XR Paynet will rule the cryptocurrency payment sector. Is that how you feel? Let them know how you feel then, Brett. Now come on down here. And ladies and gentlemen, if you missed it, Jenna X, XRP drop, updates, and huge breaking news. Take a look. And so ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen it, a historic milestone was reached today. For the first time ever, XR Paynet surpassed 1 million US dollars in 24 trading volume. Are you with me? And so coming back to Larry Fink, you have here Coinbase selected by BlackRock to provide Aladdin clients access to crypto trading in custody via Coinbase Prime. Now, what did BlackRock also just do? Drip. Has this changed your view of crypto at all? You have you now have a deal with Coinbase, uh, and, and yet you were always sort of also, I think, a bit of a uh, skeptic of all of this. Mm -hmm. I actually believe most of the companies are not going to be around. I still believe that. I do believe because they Because they're not real, they're frauds, they're what? Well, I mean, look, think about FTX. I mean, you can look back now. FTX created it. Its failure was it's creating its own token. It was not a DeFi. It wasn't a, it wasn't a, uh, you know, a, a ledger that was open to the world. It was a distributed ledger, right? It was not distributed. So the whole. It was not distributed. Foundation of what crypto is, it's supposed to be a distributed ledger that is across the system. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge... Re we already knew this, Larry. The blockchain monkeys, we already knew this. ...investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means while people are investing it for indexing. No, they're... The majority of people who are putting money in an index in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be will be tokenization of securities. Oh, we know this. 
Oh, we know this because check this, ladies and gentlemen. Good old Larry says, next generation for markets is tokenization. BlackRock joins a growing number of firms backing the tokenization of securities despite the CEO's wider crypto cynicism. Okay, so back to the FDX situation for a second. I will tell you this. Caitlin Long, I mean, I'm tired of hearing about it, but I will tell you this. Caitlin Long, Ben told you. Same to aim that at solving but the critics of our industry are right that we recreated well i say we the, the crypto industry broadly i i never was a part of that that short-term oriented trading community uh, i thought I, I as you pointed out correctly for years i've been predicting these businesses will fail and that the yield that were being offered on these leveraged products were not compensating you for the counterparty risk and it's crystal clear that that's indeed the case now. Um, but back then, it was it was hard to convince folks <laughs> that yeah. that that was indeed what the outcome was going going to be. And I've just seen this this rodeo multiple times in Bitcoin. It's worth um, worth worth saying that in 2014 we had the Mt. Gox collapse. In 2018 we had the Quadriga collapse, and in 2022. We've had the slew of collapses that we all know about. We keep in mind that those correspond to the four-year Bitcoin cycles. So 2014, 2018, 2022. This we've seen this rodeo before. Those of us who've been around. And so, ladies and gentlemen, before I let you go, take a look at this. Huge shout out to Zach Rector. DTCC shares finding in digital dollar settlement project. What do we have here? Let's take a look. And so coming to Cointelegraph, we have Clearing Company tests out security transaction settlements on blockchain networks. The digital dollar project and the depository trust in Clearing Corporation have trialed a potential settlement system using tokenized securities in central bank digital currencies. And as you see here, U.S. settlement practices differ significantly from the rest of the world. I bet they do. Results of the settlement trial were evaluated by participating banks. Are you ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? Huh? Bank of America, City, Nomura, Northern Trust, State Street, Virtual Financial, and Wells Fargo. Now, this was the first of five planned pilot projects. The Digital Dollar Project was created in 2020 by the Digital Dollar Foundation and technology consultant firm Accenture. Do you know who Accenture is partnered with? Cause it's the standard in this bitch. XRP! Okay. I went to YouTube University and now they mocking me with no degree. We say about a swift. Keep been walking. We smoking elders in these bushes. Bitcoin is talking. You don't have to be rich to be taking uh, advantage of this. This was the beginning of the greatest transformation of wealth the world has ever fucking seen since World War II. Blockchain. Blockchain. We talking about an intellectual choo-choo train. It's the OT up in these streets, man. That's why we rip all on that blockchain. Blockchain.